Have you wondered how to add extra data to categories and show them on a post, such as images? Also, have you wondered how to separate parent and child categories and show them differently on a post? Hi, I'm Naomi. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make categories more interesting. Let's get it started. First, today we are going to use these three plugins Elementor, Jet Engine, and JetSim Core. And we are going to work with categories. So let's go to categories, post categories. And I have these categories I got three parent book, photography, and travel. And there are child categories here, you see. And let's see what kind of posts I have. So, ready for some water? So, view. This site is using cover theme. And you see here this Asia landscape macro photography travel. These are parent categories, and these are child categories. These are mixed up like this. So we want to create something custom here. Next, we want to add an image to each category. So photography, we don't see any image field here, so we want to add one. To do that, there are two ways to do it. So go to Jet Engine and go to Meta Boxes. So Meta Boxes actually allow you to add a category, like add a new, and the meta box is for taxonomy and you can choose category here but today actually we want to do a different way which is go to taxonomies here and you don't see any taxonomy here but check this button here then you see categories and taxonomy slug is category so this is the correct one i know there are multiple so it's confusing but choose this one edit so now you can edit existing taxonomy category. So we want to add new meta field. And here, image. The yeah, image is fine. And the field type, you can select media. And format, the yeah, ID is fine. Okay, so this is good. Then let's update taxonomy. And let's go back to categories and let's go to photography. So now there is an image. So let's add images to each categories. All right, so I added all images for these categories, like Asia, see, there's an image. Now we want to show these images on the post. How to do that? First, go to Jet Engine's Query Builder. And we're gonna create a new query. Let's say parent category query. All right, so post terms query and taxonomy categories. And object post IDs, just simply choose current ID. This means it points to the ID of the current post. That's what we need. And I just wanna add one more thing because right now, this shows all categories, just like how it is right now. But I said parent category query. So only uh, parent that we want to show. And go to this parent child. And this part is a little bit tricky. You have to choose this one, parent. And you can set zero to get only top level terms. So you set zero here. Then add a query. Next, we want to create a listing item. So go to listings and add new. And this is not a post, it's a terms. And the category is already cho chosen. Then say a category listing and listing item. Okay, then go to Elementor. All right. And here we want to choose dynamic field. Okay, and I know it's so big, so we can press the settings, go to listings, and you can make it a little bit smaller, so easier to see this way. All right, so this one, so dynamic field, what we want to cho choose is, well, we can put title, right? So choose 
term name. All right, so now it shows America. Okay, and next we want to show an image, right? So go to dynamic image. Oops. Yeah. And instead of a post thumbnail, we can simply say image because we named it image. If you named it something else, you have to you know enter the name of the field you used. All right, then oh image size maybe should be small, right? So something like this, and update. Then go back. All right, next we want to create our template for each post. So go to Crocobrock and go to Theme Builder, and press press button, and add a condition singular and post select post all of it then create so now we create we are creating a template for a page i mean not a page i mean a single post so let's add a body and create template in elementor and here you can say single post template okay maybe like make it this way and create and go to editor so here we can start creating a post template so dynamic field so post needs a title right so it's ready for water and um, let's uh, well h1 is probably proper one then another dynamic field well actually it's easier just duplicate right then say content but the content should be all right p maybe oops maybe div all right looks good i know we can add more things but uh, let's add categories listing grid print here and here you can choose i think it's a category yeah category listing item so now shows all of it even including uncategorized so what we need is custom query and here select query parent um, then now it shows like this and if you go to this post actual post you see these categories so parent photography traveling and there's some child categories right and let's update let's see the page all right and now here is our categories cool now we want to show a child categories right so we have to do the something similar that we did so go to and jet engine and query builder and add a new and you can say child um, category query okay so it's going to be a terms query and post type same categories and object post id this is also the same however it's not just the same if you just do this it doesn't work because this is going to be used in the listing grid i mean parent listing grid so it's a nested listing grid when it happens this current id isn't the page so you have to say go to advanced settings and default object you have to say for current page right it's for current page all right so this is good good to go then go again to parent you know and child section and you have to choose a parent so press this and go down and it's actually a queried term yep so that's it and press add query next we have to create another listing grid so now this is going to be um, terms categories but this time is a child listing item i mean i'm gonna put child category listing item and create with that you know elementor all right so 
we can do the same thing, but this time we can probably just put um, dynamic image. Yeah, and uh, image. All right, now it's big, uh, this thing. But and go, let's make it a thumbnail again. I know it feels redundant, but yeah, bear with me. So update. Now what we want to do is edit this category listing item, which we created earlier. Go to here. So now you see America here, right? So now we're going to add a listing grid here. So we're going to nest it. Then we can say uh, child category listing. Then custom query. And child category query. Well, now it says no data found, but let's update. The moment of truth. See, now I know the it doesn't look that great but you see the photography this is a landscape i think this is a macro yeah and uh, this is traveling to uh, asia right so let's edit uh, this page and see if that changes so let's say portrait well and the book all right and let's see there you go. Now I added a book, so it showed up. And the photography, now I added the portraits. Yeah, traveling, I didn't change. Yeah, science fiction, I don't know what this is. Self help, I guess. So, yeah, so this is how you show it. Yeah, I forgot to add a link to these images. So, you can actually go back here and you can do it, you know, link image and permalink, actually. Actually, this works. Yeah. Just doing that and refresh. Now you can click this and go to um, category photography um, archive page. Yep, so by doing that just works. But also you might wonder like, can I not show the image of a parent or child, whichever? Yeah, you can just simply delete this. So now it's just like this. Wait, there's some um, uh, extra element. So ah, doesn't change. But yeah, now you can do this type of um, categories. Okay, I made it look like this. So yeah, you can customize categories however you want to. What did you guys think? Now you have the power to make categories more interesting, right? I know it was a little bit complicated. So if you have any questions, comments, please leave them in the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for the future contents. Thank you for watching.